the reality of the story is this, right? Like I hit balls today earlier for the first time in like a week and a half. And it was like I hadn't touched a club in a month. I just got off a plane super good for a week. I didn't touch a club for a week and a half. I hit balls, sore and shit given, but still I didn't, I had, I took me a while, it was not good. And I do this for a living. So like scale everything from that, right? Like super hard game, not gonna always be there. So when the kid comes in or someone comes in and they say, I'm not hitting a club good or all of a sudden this went off, part of it's like, yeah, okay. Like that's the deal, that's how it goes, that's golf. The second part is then, well, like, what's going on? Why is that different than normal? What, what's causing that? All right, let's learn from it and then let's correct. Part of Drew's pattern with his downswing, swing direction angle attack is it can get a little bit too far to the right and too shallow, which then with the driver, like hitting a little bit up on it is beneficial for distance and things, but I think it's at a point where if you're hitting so far up, it compromises low point, uh, club face control, yada, yada, yada. So like, if I'm telling Drew to like hit a little more down on it, I don't literally want him to hit down on it. I want his angle attack to go from like eight up to like four, right? So it's less up, I think would be more um, how I maybe should have worded that, not as far, um, not really downward. So don't use it as a ball position thing or a little bit of pivot deal, but um, the driver's just a hard, club. like I had drivers before, it was really bad. And like I shoot even par or better usually when I play. It's like, it's just hard. So what am I doing? You're gonna hit a driver. Okay. Swing at it and hit it. And I want to see, see what specifically on here. Face, so it's just... I want to see what specifically on here is the difference when you hit those shots. Oh my god. Okay. The the one thing that sticks out on here when I'm watching it is sometimes your angle of attack number gets like goofy high. Way up. Yeah. That and makes sense if I'm hitting high in the face. One. And the problem with if you hit like seven degrees up on it is for you to hit a draw, you got to swing like way a up. mile to the right. I don't want to so do that. I'd like to neutralize the angle of attack a little bit more. That way your swing doesn't have to be ridiculously to the right. That's cool. So let's take your setup and go over these pieces that are causing that. Tell me when you feel all set and ready to go. Good. Good. How much weight on your right versus left? It's pretty even. Okay. Do it again. Okay, you feel pretty, yep. that feels neutral there? Yep. Okay, so I'd say the tendency when I watch you is you're probably 60 on the right, 40 on the left. Yeah, I, I guess, I guess right. before I swing, I feel like I'll let a little bit more back into that, right? Yeah, yeah. I just, just neutralize it. Just try and keep it. Just 50-50, part number one, right? That's probably better. Now, when you go up to the top of your backswing, go all the way up, good. I want you to just watch that you don't go too far this way. And that you make sure you stay, just that so you stay here. Good. You stay on top of it. The more you go here. Because that weight's getting back and I'm kind of following that. And the more you're yeah. back here, the easier it is for you to approach from more inside for you. And then when it, yeah. Hit too far up on it. Mm -hmm. And the more that you stay more centered like that, that's going to help. Let's start with just those two pieces. Yep. And maybe a small intention of you feeling a little bit more downward strike. So okay. we're going 50-50. Yep. Make a backswing up to the top. Stay on this. Good. And then from that spot, just a little bit more downward on it. And let's do a three ball sample set. 50-50. Centered and down. Be a little lower. Oh my god. god. Same thing. 50 50. <laughs> Did you see that though? Center. I hit like 100 yards. That's your first one. <laughs> Jesus. 50 50. Okay. Centered and a little bit down. This is not designed to go 400 yards. I'm looking for just to straighten out the Ugh. direction and the. Still hot in the face. The uh, angle of attack. But hey, move, move the ball back a smidge too in your stance. Yeah, good. A little bit more attention to downwards. Same thing, Drew, please. Okay, because I actually like this here. Let, do, do one more, Drew, please. I'm going to play with something. Yeah, hey, look, hey here, what we're doing right now is we're playing with peas in the range. You're going to get some awkward ball flights. Oh, I know. Yeah, don't, don't make it more than what it is. Same thing. We're just playing with something here. Yeah. Still just so high in the face. Yeah, one more. Um, it feels like I'm hitting way down on it, though. <laughs> no, 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 not even close. Um, the only other piece, too, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. confused about where you're hitting it. When you're doing your downswing piece like this and you're hitting the downward versus the upper part, and if you're hitting the upper part of the club, right, let me bar this, the pieces that are going to go along with them, have you stand here? 
The pieces you're going to get with that, right, of hitting higher up when you come back is here, and then we're kind of back here and close and back with our chest is where our pattern's at now, which is the angle of attack going way up and higher on the face. I'd like for you, while we still kick your path out this way, to be getting your chest opening and be getting you more kind of up on, kind of forward bending on your left side yeah. instead of... I'm kind of hanging back a little bit yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. That's just a result of overtraining with that heel thing for a while, I think, too. Yeah, I think it's a combination of a couple of things. Yeah. So when you're, keep your, stay in your normal setup. When you're coming down an impact, I want you feeling here and then... On that left side. Yeah. Okay. So it's really good I got yeah. on the left side. Yeah, allow one or two goofies. Okay. Open and on top of it more. That was better. Show me the pose first at impact, so you're gonna be wide open. And then on top of it. Yeah. So you gotta make sure you get here. Do that one time. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That was a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, it was much better. Do the pose again. So that's it. And then forward. Get up here with it, even like an impact. Oh. I want this, I want so this, like a... this upper body feeling like, yeah, you're over it here, okay. not hanging back. Yeah. You guys, I, I don't lost my cow. Oh, yeah. Wait, you mean the one that's right behind your car in the parking lot? It's a fool. Hey, now same thing and just kick your path a little more. That, like, the contact was a little better. Yeah. yeah, just kick your path more with that same thing. But you still got to cover with the upper body, not with that ball. Put that yellow one in. Or put some of these in. Yeah, those are better. If you were, uh, let's say like that we had those iron shots in. Yeah. yeah. When you, this is, I, we're, we're going off, whatever. We're doing the same thing. We're throwing that block station in and you're kicking your path to the right. I just want to make sure your angle of attack isn't too far off. Yeah. If you had to go on the course, you had to draw one with your driver. So I don't like know a, if I do that right now. Yeah, I wanted, what, what would you try and do to do that? I'm moving a little bit back in stance. Okay, you would kick your path more to the right? Yeah. Yeah, would you the, do anything The other thing is like sometimes when I do that, I get like that push and then it's like cuts even more. So the one you know big thing for me when I go play that works good, when I need to hook one, yeah. is that I get feel like my right side and my shoulder stays as high, watch me, stays as high as possible. Can I try that? Like this, yeah. So when I come through like this and I'm going cut shots, I sometimes have to get my right shoulder more under like this so the handle goes higher. When I'm trying to sling one off the trees to the right, I kick my path out and I feel like I'm releasing it, but I also feel like my shoulder's not getting like dead. Not here. at all. Like it's uh, up the, like this. Maybe you think yeah. like Tiger kind of like when he would do that high oh, right that, shoulder thing. I love that finish. Yeah, that like nice. that's yeah. like as a draw. Now you might hook one or two with that that's in the beginning. Cool. Yeah. So just hey, sh show me a pose of what that would look like. Just kind of so slow motion. Going down, it's more of a good, this is up here, right? Yep, that's so it'd be more like. Yeah. Okay, but I, I, you, know, you I, know, I know what the finish should feel like. Yeah, I mean, let me, yeah. Let me, let me, yeah. Yeah. Hang Haney Tiger did that like every single time. Yeah. Yeah. Not like this holding the face open. Yeah. Same thing, keep that right side high. There you go. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. The strike's good and the yeah. fight's better, yeah. Oh, Drew. We like that. Yeah, that's really nice. I like this for you a lot, Drew. Your misses are going to be overdraws. That's fine. Yeah, that's what I mean. No, that's one who loves a hook as much as Drew. Drew likes a hook. Oh, he loves the ball curving too much left. Oh. Yeah, I, hate I can it. play with that all day long, but I, I can't play it. with a fade. Like, yeah. Oh, boy. Especially when you're push cutting, the lower you get your right shoulder going through, like this, and you get tilty, mm -hmm. the handle goes higher, <laughs> and the face gets pointed high right, yeah. lofty. Yep. If you can feel like you get that no right side bend, right shoulder high when I through, that's my like go-to. I, like, I gotta I hit like a hook shot. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you can sling it off the tree line. Still yeah, with the same nice. station. Yeah, that's gonna be good for my driver, I think. Like, you with me on Ross? Yeah. Your game looks great, dude. I think it's good. way better with the predictable draw pattern. Mm. Good. Go f win your thing, dude. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah.